Welcome to this product demonstration termination video of a Category 6A unshielded jack. When you first open your connector, you're going to be individually packaged with a complete bill of materials. You can go ahead and pull the one side off, it'll be perforated. Your connector is going to have a connector body, a load bar, a cable tie, and a dust cap. This particular product is for Category 6A unshielded cable. Category 6A unshielded cable is very large. If you ever have the opportunity to see it, it's got spacers inside the jacket to actually keep the cables further apart to prevent alien crosstalk between other pairs of other cables and stuff. So what I'm going to do first here is I'm going to go ahead and strip my jacket. I'm going to do about a 2 inch strip. The instructions do say 1.2 inches, but I do like to have a little bit more to work with. I'm going to use the minimum spin on this cigar cutter. Kind of strip that off. First thing you'll notice about Cat 6A cable is that it is very, very tightly twisted. So I'm going to go ahead and remove my separator in the middle. I'm not going to untwist my pairs yet. Um, there'll be a rip cord on the cable. You can remove the rip cord. Pull my pairs out and away. I want to remove this separator. The easiest way of doing this is I call these each individual legs flutes after machining. Using your flush side of your diagonal cutters, I'm going to go ahead and cut at a 45 degree angle inward on each of these flutes. I want to be very careful not to cut my conductors. Spin that comes right off. Now I'm going to go ahead and straighten my pairs back out and slide the load bar that came with the connector over it. I want to slide it over with the arrow facing away from the cable. Seat it back against the jacket. Now, You'll see on the load bar that two colors are always constant. I'm going to remove this uh, rip cord out of the way. It's still a little bit left on there. But two of the colors are always constant. The white and the blue and the brown and the white are always constant. They don't move. The green and the orange are swapped depending on whether you're doing 568A or 568B. We're going to be doing 568B. So you want to line your load bar up with your conductor. So I've got my blue over here. So I want to spin this around and get my blue next to my blue brown next to brown, and then I can line the other pairs up. I'm going to be doing 568B, so I'm going to have to go ahead and kind of swap these pairs over each other. And just get to kind of get them positioned according to where your color codes are going to be. So it's lined up with the color codes on the load bar. Now I'm going to go ahead and untwist just a portion of the conductors, because you don't have to untwist the whole thing. I'm going to go ahead and just grab it firmly, spin it a couple times to get that starting to untwist and then line my color codes up in the slots. So on this particular side is blue and white blue. Cat 6A cable is going to be potentially no stripe on what they call the one conductor. So this is white and blue. So that's why it's a good idea not to untwist all these where you might mix these up. And untwist just that bottom portion. Line these up in the uh, appropriate cable paths. You want to make sure they're down inside those cable paths because if they're not, the connector won't close all the way. Now the green and the orange here, I got to overlap over each other. Sometimes you have to separate them a little bit to get them to go into those traces. And once you have all these lined up and all the cables are actually in the traces, this is ready to reassemble back into the connector body. So there's a black arrow here, and there's a black arrow here. You want to make sure those two line up. There's no black arrow on this side, so don't want to make sure you don't cross the wires. So I'm going to line those black arrows up, kind of give it a nice firm push just to start it. And then I'll take my tool, and I'll drop this into the tool, seat it down firmly, and hold it in place with my fingers, and just crimp the tool. It cuts off all the conductors. It seats the load bar in place. And now I'm ready to close my conductors. I close my connector like that. It's clipped in place. And the last step is an optional one. This does come with a cable tie. You do not have to use it, but it is recommended if you want extra additional security. You can go ahead and uh, slide this into the tabs in the back here. And just tighten it down. It's just an additional security step to strain and leaf everything together. Trim off the excess and this connector is now terminated and done. Mm -hmm.